Hey, what's up guys? Rainbow Cumshot here. Uh, this video is probably going to be a little bit faster than my normal ones, but here we go. Going to going to make a Delphi going to make a Delphi timer. And uh, pretty much what this program is going to do is um there, yeah, hold on. <coughs> All right, so yeah, basically what this program is going to do is it's just going to show you the runtime, the application. So uh, for starters, I'm going to start off with a label here, and the label will be right here. Okay, so there we go. And um, I'm going to go up here, click on System, and double click on the clock. Puts a timer right here in the center. You can put the uh, timer right there if you'd like to. And um, yeah, so here's our label. We can clear that out. And so now that's empty. Now, let's go ahead and give our label a name. So scroll down until you find name. Where's N? Wait, where did it go? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to name this LBL um, Run Time. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and double click on the timer. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to declare a public variable. So we're going to select this. Well, actually, here, put in a new one right here. And it's going to be x as an integer. Okay. So that's all that you got to do here is you got to just put it under public and then put an x, a colon, and type out integer with a semicolon at the end. Now we want to go back to the form, double click on this, and each time that uh, this clock ticks, uh, it'll click every 1,000 milliseconds. And there's a 1,000 milliseconds in one second. So that's perfect because we're just going to store the amount of seconds that this program has been running for. So I'm going to double click this and I'm going to do uh, label run time dot caption colon equals um, apostrophe run time. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this looks. Okay, so that's good right there. And um, now I haven't tried this, but I'm going to try this right now. Just uh, bear with me. This might not work. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Actually, it did work. So now what we want to do is we want to convert the integer to a string. So I think there's a uh, there's a function built in called int to str. Uh, just bear with me here. I don't know if this will work or not. Uh, I'm about to find out now. Okay, so it does work. Uh, now all that we need to do is we need to build in uh, some math. Okay, so we got to do x uh, colon equals x plus 1 semicolon. So let's go ahead and give this another test. 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that shows you the runtime of your program right there. Now yeah, that's, uh, that's how that works then. So I hope that this helps some people with uh, their program, I guess. Maybe if you want to show the runtime of the application or whatever. Um, you can also make a clock that shows the actual time. I'll be doing a tutorial on that later, though, because i got to go now. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.